so good morning friends uh, we start with uh, another famous one act play uh, titled the man who turned into a stick the man who turned into a stick it has also a subtitle death vadiyai maariya manushyan malayalathile vadiyaaga nu parayya marikkya nan av vadiyai appo idum edandu adu thanneya the man who turned into a stick by the japanese writer kobo abe kobo abe kobo abe was born in 1924 and died in 1993 at the age of 68 he died of heart attack remember kobo abe is best known for his novels and short stories so kobo abe was a novelist and a short story writer and what about playwright he was also a playwright so a novelist a short story writer and a playwright kobo abe his most popular work is a novel suna no ona that's in japanese suna no ona published in 16 in 1962 its title is translated as the woman in the dunes sand dunes published translated in 1964 uh see he was so he was a novelist a short story writer as well as a playwright but the problem is uh, in 1973 so he was writing novels short stories and and uh, dramas in 1973 he was dissatisfied with the production of his plays in japan so what happened he founded his own theater group that was named kobo abe studio kobo abe studio and in 1976 you know abe produced the more familiar version of this play the man who turned into a stick the man who turned into a stick was you know it was uh, performed in kobo abe studio well this is a a short biographical description a biographical sketch of kobo abe you can read more about kobe abe uh in the google the google brother google will tell you a lot of things about kobo abe I remember he died in 1993 at the age of 68 uh of heart attack and this play the man who turned into a stick is a one act play eganga nadagamana written in 1957 well it is the first of the three plays it is the first of the trilogy a group of three plays written between 1957 and 1969 the first is called the suitcase it talks about birth jananam the second play is called the cliff of time it represents a life itself 
അതായത് ജീവിതത്തെ പറ്റിയാണ് ദ സൂട്ട് കേസ് റിലേറ്റ്സ് ടു ബർത്ത് ദ ക്ലിഫ് ഓഫ് ടൈം റിലേറ്റ്സ് ടു ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ദ തേർഡ് വൺ ദ മാൻ ഹു ടേൺ ഇൻ വെസ്റ്റിക് ഇറ്റ് ഡീൽസ് വിത്ത് ഡെത്ത് സോ ബർത്ത് ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ഡെത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ട്രിലജി എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ത്രീ പ്ലേസ് സോ ദ മാൻ ഹു ടേൺ ഇൻ വെസ്റ്റിക് that is death it deals with uh, you know matters relating to death maranathe sambandhikkunnaan malayalathil angane aanallo parayunnathu vadiyai maariya manushyante kathaya the man who turned into a stick and uh, as far as the genre of this play is concerned it is you know it uh, is an example of magical realism magical realism so magical realism two things combined realism and magic so it's a genre of literature that depicts that relates the real world as having an undercurrent of magic so realism with a mix of magic or fantasy that is magical realism so within a work of magical realism the world is still grounded in the real world so we can we can find the elements of realism it is realistic yadharthya bodhathodu kudiyulla nammalde pachayattla jeevathathinte ella karyangalum kaanan sadhikkum that is it is realistic no doubt but there are fantastical elements elements of fantasy phantasmagorical elements that is for example fables dreams folk tales myths and all such things are combined mixed into the web of realism so realism plus magic fantasy illusion is magical realism so this is a very good example of magical realism especially in japanese literature magical realism don't forget so the man who turned into a stick belong belongs to the genre of uh magical realism in uh, japanese literature kobo abe uh the man who turned into a stick so we start the play Is it all right the introduction? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. So we start with the play. Can you see the play? Yes sir. Right. So this is the text. Akobo Abe. It is pronounced Kobo Abe in Japanese. The title of the play is The Man who turned into a stick look at the characters so as i said it is an example of magical realism so look at the characters from the characters uh, even from the cat the list of characters you can understand that yeah, this is one of the best examples of magical realism for example look the first character is a man but look is a man from hell so realism as well as fantasy man from hell man from hell naragathil ninnulla oru manushanan a supervisor so the best example of a magical realism number 2 woman from hell so two persons from directly you know imported from the hell man from hell woman from hell man from hell is a supervisor woman from hell is a recently appointed woman from hell is recently appointed to the earth duty squad in the police avalu aanu thonu earth duty squad so she is a member of so she is uh, you know deputed from the hell 
for duty on earth, earth duty squad. He's a, she's a member of the earth duty squad, woman from hell. So two persons, man from hell and a woman from hell. And look at the third person, the third character, the man who turned into a stick. This is the title, isn't it? The man who turned into a stick. Then the fourth one is a hippie boy. Look, hippie, hippie, you know, used to be, you know, there in the 1960s. That was a, a, a movement. A hippies were, you know, people of unconventional a character, you know, conventional character, unconventional appearance with the long hair, long beard, and, you know, uh, taking uh, hallucinogenic uh, drugs, you know, they used to be drug addicts, and they rejected the normal mores of the the normal codes of the normal rules of the normal customs of the established society is a hippie so here we have a hippie boy as well as a hippie girl the hippie girl you know is a very very most amazing character open-minded free-spirited hippie well hippies of the 1960s with the long hairs uh, Kunjukurpa, a Kunjukurpinaturu, Okay, you know, these hippies are, you know, long-haired. They, they, they wanted to be different. Long-haired, long-bearded, with, uh, you know, a loose uh, dress and costumes. They were, you know, always taking drugs and uh, singing songs and all those things, you know, different types of songs. Uh, that is, uh, that used to be hippies. So we have here a hippie boy and a hippie girl. And also, Look at that, the magical realism, the element of magical realism. Voice from hell. Voice from hell. Naragatthal in the Gelkna Shabdaman. A voice from hell. So these are the characters. So we have a man from hell. He is a supervisor. A woman from hell. Recently appointed to the Earth Duty Squad. And we have the third character. The man who turned into a stick. The man who turned into a stick. Manishinu wonder, what do you wonder? We can see in the play, we can see the stick as well as the man. And the fourth character is a hippie boy, and the fifth one is a hippie girl. And well, the sixth, the last, you know, that voice is also a character, voice from hell. So these are the characters. Is it clear? Shall, yes, we, shall we proceed? Yes. yes. So, okay. Thank you very much. So, this is the stage setting. Nadagan Torangana, Mumbola, Nadagan Torangan, Karsian. Kobo Abe has also given a lot of uh, explanations. If within brackets, you will find the explanations. So, this is the, this is the, a stage setting when uh, the curtain rises when the curtain goes up this is what we see on the stage a hot sticky Sunday afternoon in June this is the month of June it's very hot sticky people you know sweating a lot so it is sticky it is Sunday afternoon so it's a holiday isn't it in June so where is it? It's on a street, a main thoroughfare, a main road. Thoroughfare is a road, a main street with the terminal department store in the background. In the background, we can see the terminal department store. A lot of people, crowds of people passing back and forth. So moving here and there. In one, in, in both directions, you can see 
a lot of people. So because it is a it is a street. Now it is best not to attempt to represent this realistically. This is the instruction. Either are they one of the because it, you know, it is, it is, it's a, it's a drama. Apa film ini nanti kita nak karakter itu diri kita. Sebab nada itu nanti kita lebih itu boleh dan ni, orang 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 Crowds of people passing back and forth. Other, other youth festival, no, D zone, no, interzone, no, marketplace, no, 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 a young man and a young woman sit. So we can see two persons. Who are they? A young man and a young woman. They sit on the sidewalk curb. Sidewalk curb. American uh, uh, English. Anna. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Namkariya. Footpath. Curb. That is the raised edge. Road in the side of the footpath. I the side of the footpath and the road to the edge. The sidewalk curb. At a stage center front. Stage in the center front. About three yards apart. We can see a young woman and a young man sitting where on the sidewalk curb. Now they are hippies. So we have already seen the characters. A hippie man and a hippie woman. A hippie man and a hippie girl we have already seen. So these two, the young man and the young woman, they are hippies. They stare vacantly ahead. They are just, you know, looking at the infinity. Vacantly. There are no expression, no emotions. Completely indifferent to the surroundings. They are in their own world. Completely indifferent to the surroundings. They, they are not aware. They are not aware of, you know, what is going on around them. With withdrawn expressions. Because they are in their own world. Any instruction by Kobo Abe, if desired, Venamangal, they can be shown. Ingana Venamangal, Avare, Avadripia, Engane, sniffing, sniffing glue, glue on a picking that, sniffing, smelling like a dog, sniffing glue, glue on a picture of Drikan at Venamangal, Avadripia, because they are their own world, you know, they are completely lost in themselves. All of a sudden, Patan. The power of the two persons, a young man and a young woman. Who are they? They are hippies. A hippie boy and a hippie girl. Pattern, you know, all of a sudden, a stick comes hurling down from the sky. Comes hurling, comes moving down from the sky, falls from the sky. A stick. All of a sudden, they see a stick coming down. A stick falls down. A very ordinary stick, about four feet long, with a nail at the from above, falls from above. Now it can be manipulated. This is the instruction given by the playwright. Perhaps in the manner of Grand Gugnol. Grand Gugnol. Grand Gugnol, it's the name of a theatre, famous theatre in Paris. 
in France, the capital of France. Well, it used to be an opera, uh, you know, a melodramatic opera. horror story. It's an opera. The character, Grand Gugnol. Venamangal, man from the, if you want, if this is the instruction given by Kobo Abe to the director. Venamangal, perhaps in the manner of the Grand Gugnol, by the actor playing the part of the man before he turned into a stick. Venamangal, Grand Gugnol, Nepal, this is the instruction given by Kobo Abe. The stick. Abo, what happened? A young girl, a boy and a girl, hippie girl and a hippie boy. They were sitting three feet apart on the sidewalk curb. They were completely lost in themselves. They were indifferent to the surroundings. All of a sudden, a stick hurls down from the sky and it falls down. Just, you know, just when you know, just it, they had a, a hair breadth escape. Our method, Charida Tidchilla and the you know, the stick, what happens? It rolls over and over. I think it wouldn't do it on the bone. First, striking against the edge of the sidewalk. Adim, I think the side of the Dikinu, the other footpath in it. Then it bounces back with a clatter, with a rattling sound. It bounces back. And finally, coming to rest horizontally, it stops moving in the gutter. It stops at the gutter near the curb stone, near the edge of the, the edge of the footpath. Near the less than a yard from the two hippies, very, very close, very, very near. Reflex action. The reflex action. Suddenly, you know, they are they're frightened. They move back. Reflex action makes them look at where the stick has fallen. What happened? What is it? And then we look at the thing, we look at the stick, and then at the place where it came from, and they look up, frowning to see where it came from. But considering the danger to which they have been exposed, oh, this is not safe. It is not safe to sit here. Their reactions are somewhat lacking in urgency. You know, uh, they, they lack, you know, they, they understand. Well, something is wrong, but they just, you know, indifferent. Man from hell. We have two characters, a man from hell and a woman from hell. The man from hell enters from the stage left stage in the other part of the and the woman from hell from the stage right so the hippie boy and hippie girl sitting in in the center in the middle man from hell uh, enters the stage from left and the, the woman from hell enters the stage from right and we also have the stick about anja kathabathangalana stage nadagam thorangiyai both are spotlighted. Nadatelekal instruction. A Kaira and the Randavera de Mutek spotlighted Telchukurakana, Yana, Ola instruction. Nadagurtu, Ire, Kobo, Abe, Parend. This is the setting. Nadagan Torangi. Is it clear? The start? Shall we start? Yes, sir. Right. So, hippie boy still looking up because a stick fell down into their middle. It hurled, it came hurling down from above. 
ഹിപ്പി ബോയ് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡേഞ്ചറസ് ഓ നാശം പേടിച്ചു പോയല്ലോ ഗോഡ് ഡാംഡ് എക്സ്ക്ലമേഷൻ ഡേഞ്ചറസ് ഓ പേടിച്ചു പോയി മാൻ ഫ്രം ഹെൽ ഇൻ ദ ട്വൈലൈറ്റ് എ വൈറ്റ് ക്രസൻറ്റ് മൂൺ മാൻ ഫ്രം ഹെൽ ഇൻ ദ ട്വൈലൈറ്റ് ട്വൈലൈറ്റ് ഇസ് ഈവനിങ് ദ ടൈം ബിറ്റ്വീൻ യു നോ ദ ഡേ ആൻഡ് നൈറ്റ് ദ സൺ ഹാസ് ഓൾറെഡി സെറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദ ട്വൈലൈറ്റ് ദ ദ ലൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സെറ്റിംഗ് സൺ വെൽ ഇൻ ദ ട്വൈലൈറ്റ് വട്ട് കെൻ വി സീ എ വൈറ്റ് ക്രസൻറ്റ് മൂൺ ചന്ദ്രക്കല കാണാം വാള് പോലെ എ ഫ്രൂട്ട് നൈഫ് എ ഫ്രൂട്ട് നൈഫ് ഫീലിംഗ് ദ സ്കിൻ ഓഫ് ഫെയ്റ്റ് ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് ദ കമ്പാരിസൺ ദ കമ്പാരിസൺ ദ കമ്പാരിസൺ ഓഫ് ദ വൈറ്റ് ക്രസൻറ്റ് മൂൺ ഓ ദ മൂൺ ദ ക്രസൻറ്റ് മൂൺ ലുക്സ് ലൈക്ക് എ ഫ്രൂട്ട് നൈഫ് ഫീലിംഗ് ദ സ്കിൻ ഓഫ് ഫെയ്റ്റ് പഴം മുറിക്കുകയാണ് ആപ്പിൾ മുറിക്കുന്നതിന് കത്തിന്നല്ല പറയുന്നത് പിന്നെയോ ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ മാൻ ഫ്രം ഹെൽ മാജിക്കൽ റിയലിസം മാൻ ഫ്രം ഹെൽ നരകത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വന്നേക്കാണ് ഇൻ ദ ട്വൈലൈറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദ ക്രസൻറ്റ് ദ ക്രസൻറ്റ് മൂൺ ഇറ്റ് ലുക്സ് ദ മൂൺ ലുക്സ് ലൈക്ക് എ ഫ്രൂട്ട് നൈഫ് ഫീലിംഗ് വാട്ട് ഫീലിംഗ് ദ സ്കിൻ ഓഫ് നോട്ട് ഫീലിംഗ് ദ സ്കിൻ ഓഫ് ആപ്പിൾ ബട്ട് ഫീലിംഗ് ദ സ്കിൻ ഓഫ് ഫെയ്റ്റ് വിധി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സംതിങ് യു നോ സംതിങ് ഫാൻറ്റാസ്റ്റിക്കൽ സംതിങ് അൺകോമൺ സംതിങ് അൺനാച്ചുറൽ സോ സിറ്റി ദ സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ദ റോഡ് ദ മാൻ എവറിത്തിങ് ഈസ് റിയലിസ്റ്റിക് ബട്ട് മാൻ ഫ്രം ഹെൽ ഫെയ്റ്റ് ക്രസൻറ്റ് മൂൺ all these things yes you know they are magical so a mix of the magic and the realism magical realism a fruit knife peeling the skin of fate not peeling the skin of orange or apple now woman from hell she talks today once again a man has changed his shape and become a stick oh something unnatural ഇന്നും സംഭവിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു വാട്ട് ടുഡേ ഓൾസോ ദാറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഹാപ്പൻഡ് ദ സെയിം തിങ് ഹാസ് ഹാപ്പൻഡ് വാട്ട് എ മാൻ ഹാസ് ചേഞ്ച്ഡ് ഹിസ് ഷേപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ബിക്കം എ സ്റ്റിക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഹാപ്പൻഡ് ഈവൻ ടുഡേ ഹിപ്പി ബോയ് ടേൺസ് ഹിസ് ഗെയ്സ് ബാക്ക് ടു ദ സ്റ്റിക്ക് ആൻഡ് പിക്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഹി ലുക്സ് അറ്റ് ദ സ്റ്റിക്ക് ദ ഹിപ്പി ബോയ് ലുക്സ് അറ്റ് ദ സ്റ്റിക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഹി പിക്സ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പ് he takes it up he takes the stick just a couple of feet closer oh randadi aduth a couple of feet closer it would have finished me ende katha kazhinjane tottaduth randadi maari irundengil the stick fell so near so close that we had a hair a very narrow escape it would have finished me talpan tetirunengil ende katha kazhinjane hippy girl look at this the hippy girl looks at the stick and she feels it she touches it she touches the stick which do you suppose is the accident which do you suppose is the accident when something hits you or when it misses either is it an accident when something hits you if something hits you for example endukile meethu veerunu nirikkatte or you escape is it an accident do you suppose it's an accident hippy boy how should i know how do i know whether it's an accident or it's a deliberate i don't know he bangs the sticks on the pavement making a rhythm vadiyalle he starts beating he starts beating play he, he plays a rhythm he beats a rhythm chandel adikunu ottu ingane adichu oru taalam kutti nokunu it's a stick you know he is a hippy hippy boy because so he found you know an an immediate use uh, for the stick so he starts beating as if on a drum he plays a music he plays a drum a rhythm 
Then the man from hell talks. The moon, the color of dirty chromium plate. Look at the moon, the crescent. The color is like, you know, the, the chromium plate. A steel, steel plate in there. With the color wallet. It looks down. The moon looks down. The moon in the color of the chromium plate. It looks down. And the streets are swirling. The streets are, you know, twisting as if in a, in a, in a, you know, like a, a whirlpool. It is swirling like, a, you know, a spring, a spring action, a swirling movement. Woman from hell. Today, once again, a man turned into a stick and vanished. She repeats the same story. Innum adu sampochekum. And a man turned into a stick and uh, disappeared, vanished. The bigger, hey, what's that rhythm that you are tapping? What's that rhythm? Because he was tapping, he was beating a rhythm with the stick. What's the, the rhythm that you are tapping? Hippie boy says, you can try and guess. You can guess. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you the music, the rhythm. Hippie girl glancing up. She looks up. She looks up in the direction of, you know, direction of the stick. The, 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 the point uh, that the stick came from. Look, I'm sure that kid was the culprit. A boy is standing there in the, in the top of the building, the next building. A boy is standing there. She spots a boy. I'm sure that kid was the culprit. The, that boy, he's the culprit. He threw it. He threw the stick onto us. He's the culprit. He's responsible for it. Hippie boy, he looks you know, intrigued. He looks up. Hippie girl, isn't he cute? Cute? I'll bet he is still in the grade school. I'm sure he is still in the elementary school, grade school. He must have been playing on the roof. Maybe he was playing on the roof with the stick and he just threw it on us. Hippie boy looks into the distance as before. Damned brats. You know, damned dirty, dirty kids. I hate them all. I hate them. I don't like them. Hippie girl. Oh, it's dangerous. The way he is leaning, leaning over the edge. It's very, very dangerous. Because he is, you know, leaning over the Leaning over what? He's leaning over the edge. And a, and a, a, a half word in there. It's very dangerous. I'm sure he's ashamed now he threw it. And he seems to be trying to say something. But I can't hear him. He tries to say something there. I can't hear him. I think he's ashamed. He tried to throw the stick at us. But... It didn't touch us. It just, you know, missed us. So he's ashamed. So he is ashamed that he threw it. Since it didn't touch us, maybe he wanted to hit us. He wanted to hurt us. But it didn't hit us. Since it didn't hit us, he feels ashamed. He is trying to say something, but I can't hear him. Hippie boy, he is probably disappointed. Nobody got hurt. So maybe he is a little bit disappointed. So now he is cursing us instead. I think he is cursing. Because the stick didn't hit us. Then stick to himself. So until now, so far, you know, four persons were talking. Hippie boy. Hippie girl, man from the hell, and the woman from hell. All the four persons were talking. Now here is 
സ്റ്റിക്ക് ടോക്കിംഗ് ടു ഹിം സെൽഫ് വഴി അതിനോട് തന്നെ സംസാരിക്കുന്നു നോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് സെൽവ് നോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് സെൽവ് ഹി ഈസ് കോളിംഗ് മീ ദ ചൈൽഡ് സോ മീ ഫോ നോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് സോ നോ യു ആർ നോട്ട് റൈറ്റ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഈസ് കോളിംഗ് മീ ബിക്കോസ് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഹി ഈസ് സോ മീ ഫോ ഞാൻ താഴേക്ക് വീഴുന്നത് കണ്ടിട്ട് അവൻ എന്നെ വിളിക്കുകയാണ് ഹി ഈസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് ടു മീ ഹി ഈസ് നോട്ട് ടോക്കിംഗ് ടു യു ഹിപ്പി ഗേൾ ആബ്രപ്റ്റ്ലി ചേഞ്ചിങ് ദ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് അത് കേൾക്കാത്ത മാതിരി ഐ നോ വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈ വടി പറഞ്ഞത് കേൾക്കാത്തത് മാതിരി ഐ നോ വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് റിതം നീ കൊട്ടിയ താളം എനിക്കറിയാം ഐ നോ വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് റിതം ദിസ് ഈസ് The, this is the song isn't it a paatalle a paat then she hums the tune or other melle onnu mooli paattu paadunu ee paatalle nee paadiyathu then hippy boy hmm hippy girl was i wrong yan parna thetta ano did i guess wrong hippy boy it has always been my principle to respect other people's taste no i don't interfere with the, you know others matters i don't i don't want to comment on but your remarks hippy girl unfazed by this she wiggles her body patu body ingane kadana avlu thulluga he wiggles her body to the rhythm and goes on humming because she is you know, a hippy girl hippies were like that you know very unconventional very unnatural with long hair with long beard and all those things you know uh, singing songs carrying a guitar or a violin in their hand guitar usually in the meantime what happens the man who turned into a stick adutha katha patram so we have seen man from hell the woman from hell, from hell hippy boy hippy girl and the stick talked to itself the stick talked to himself and in the meantime the man who turned into a stick ee vadiyayi mariya manushan undallo is coordinating the movements of the body with those of the stick in hippy boy's hand because the stick is held by the hippy boy and it moves and the man who turned into a stick is coordinating aa vadiyada chalanangal adhe pole avan anugirikkan all the while keeping his eyes fastened on a point somewhere in the sky the man was you know had fixed his eyes at some point in the sky and the man from hell walks slowly toward the stage center the moon is forgotten in a sky the color of cement and the stick lies forgotten down in the gutter because there are two things moon the crescent moon in the sky and the stick uh, in the gutter the moon in the sky and the stick lies forgotten where down in the gutter I think we'll call it a day. Shall we stop here? Yes, sir. Okay, sir.